Demon G Drive with YBR. We have a map, and it's a real racetrack in, uh, well, let's go to it. Mailbar Air. It's from Japan. It's, well, I've seen people pronounce this in every which way possible. Let me actually go back so you can spell that out. Spell that out. There's no thing around it. Here we go. It says it right here. So, I've seen people pronounce this as just scuba. I've heard people say Tuscuba. I've heard people say Tusukubu. I've heard people say Tusukuba. I've heard every possible pronunciation right and wrong. I'm not even going to try to take a guess at how to say it right. Because I look it up, I'm like, I'm going to see how these people say it. And it's like, they say it like this, they say it like that. They say it every which way possible. I give up. So there's the track where you are at. It's from Japan. It's a well-known track. It's like one of the most uh, well-known like time attack tracks ever. So, if I'm a good driver, I should be able to get a lap done in about one minute with a good car. I'm not! Give me five minutes, please. Uh, it's a very FPS-friendly map, though. It's, uh, it's not too much details to it uh, as a side effect of that, but it's good for a racetrack because when you're racing, you don't care if you're getting pretty looks. You, you want to make sure you get the 60 FPS or more to make sure you don't crash and die with all that terrible stuff. So, I don't know, we'll take a, we'll just do some slow laps, because if I try to go too fast, I'll embarrass myself. I'll try to, you know, reasonable speed. Cut that in too much. Yeah, well, I told you I'd embarrass myself. I mean, it could be a lot worse. I could have spun out and crashed into a wall or something by now. This is Beam G, so it does need crashes, though. Bang! There we go. Ha <laughs> ha! Wrecked that thing. Alright. Moving on. I don't believe there's any uh, lap time or anything for this track. I'm looking at the forum post right now to make sure. But yeah, that's why I'm driving in the dirt. I, I don't think there is. Uh, okay, let's get back onto the track. I'm trying to read stuff. So, this is version 1 though, so it has the update that fixes a couple of graphical things. So that's good. I guess. Hey, look at that! There's a Grand Turismo logo! Look at that! Hey, that's Grand Turismo. Which one is it? 4? Dang. It's a pretty old mesh then. I know it was a, uh, a conversion from somebody else's map to BMNG. I don't actually know the original source of the map. They, there's some names listed, but I don't know like what it's actually from per se, like if they made it for some specific thing or anything. But it works good for Beam and G, no problems with it. Like I said, I'm not gonna try to push it to the limit or nothing. I need like a driving line and a all the driving aid you could possibly give me. Basically. I don't know, I'm not that bad at racing games, but it seems like anytime I record something it's like, oh goodness, I'm spinning out, I'm crashing, I'm dead, I'm Everything's gone terrible. This is terrible. There's been apocalypse, car apocalypse. Just everything's gone bad. Maybe it's just because I play Beam and G, so I'm used to wrecking things. So if I try to race serious, it's just like I should crash this. In the back of my head, I'm just thinking crash, 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 and then before you know it, I crash. I don't know. So anyways, that's two laps of the track. And well over the actual record or anything, like it's probably like a minute twenty. <laughs> like the record's like fifty seconds. I mean to be fair, this isn't a super crazy race car or anything. Smash. Try to lose some weight to make it go faster. Right? That's how it works. You smash a car on a wall, watch bits fly off, it's lighter weight, and you'll go faster. Physics cares about aerodynamic drag? I don't know if the game even simulates that. So what if you can't churn good at all? Just put power into it and you'll force yourself to churn. This is a great plan. We need to lose more weight. Who needs a mirror? Oh, get that mirror out of here. Yeah. We're going to be so fast now. Get that mirror out of here. What? You're still there? Get off. Oh, it won't come off. Go! That mirror is a stubborn one. Oh, yeah, cut the corner. Extra speed saving. No, I lost speed by cutting the corner. I don't know what I'm doing. 
All I know is I'm really struggling to drive in a straight line now. It's all damaged up. And it's not as easy as driving a car with bad alignment because you don't have the precision to just hold it straight. You got like a because you have a controller. Let's get rid of the extra weight. There we go. Much faster. Maybe. No, it ain't. It's slower. Just thinking of physics. What if we go in that little hole? Is that water? That's not water. <laughs> it looks like water. Maybe it's supposed to be water, but it's just like, ah, who, they don't put the water, it'll make people lag. I don't know. Ooh, I saw something floating. Oh, yes, more weight reduction. Oh, jeez. I get some more weight reduction right there. Much faster. For, oh, goodness, my steering is really done for now. Now, but I saw that. What is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? That's my, is that my mirror? No, that's a, is that a PSP? No, it, oh, it's not. I thought it was a PSP for a second. Like, why is there a PSP? It's just the light. <laughs> I thought it was a PSP just sitting there. It made no sense. That's why it confused me. I'm like, what? We can't turn it all. Oh, no, we're upside down. Don't worry. It's just reducing weight. Here's a good idea. If you go in reverse, something, something, something. Rear wheels powering every. I don't know. Alright, let's just reset. I like churning. As much as I was loving to do the weight loss to go at maximum speed, that is not working out well. At all. Oh, and here's the pits. Got garages. I'm gonna park my car right here. I thought they had enclosed garages. That's why I've seen like videos and they always pull cars out of like an enclosed garage. Might just be the way it's edited. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa, what was that? That was interesting. Hold on. That's neat. I want to play with that. It's going to probably be fixed in a later version. But I want to play with it while it's here. Oh, that was... Whoa, it's like a one-way wall. If I go slow enough, does it damage my car? It pushes it through. That is trippy. I have no idea what it does. But I like it. I'm trying to actually set the car to reset right behind it. Without too much fall damage. I'm not accelerating at all. This is all the wall. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I'm trying to see if the wall does anything. I think it just makes them smoke. The, walls, the car seems unharmed. Unless you go the other way. Alright, what if we put the car inside of the wall and force it to stay there? Ah, too high up. That again, force the car into the wall right about there. Now that's just the height. It'll be lower, lower. There we go. Doesn't do anything. All right, enough playing with the wall. It's not the whole attraction of the map that there's a, a one way wall. Missing the point, man. The point is there's a racetrack here. We should do a reverse drive. So let's, uh, let's do a reverse run. Why not? It's always neat to do reverse runs because you get to see the scenery a different way. Oh, look at that. Look at those textures. Those are a little, uh, use a little bit of tweaking right there. That sign is also floating. No, it's not. Maybe it is. From some angles, that sign is floating, so that could probably also use a little bit of tweaking. I don't know. There's a couple. There's, it's a beta, I think. Maybe. Probably. Hopefully. I mean, it's not like these are things that are necessarily hard to fix. Just you notice them. Well, I don't think they'd be too difficult, but I never made something specifically for PNG. My experience is only with, uh, uh, well, a little bit of UDK, but mostly. Hammer. Yes. 
compiling maps for ages. Ugh. One nice thing is you don't have to compile maps for EMG. That's nice. Oh, we got, we're off in the dirt. I'm too busy thinking about making maps. Hey, what's over there? Woo! Into the water again! I like this water. I think it's water still. I don't even know if it's water. What else would it be? It looks like water. Oh! 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 Sheesh. Got stuck between two hard spots, huh? And so that's just the other side of the track. So I guess that's, uh, everything that's really here. What if you hit this? Can you get to the stands? You can smash into them. I don't know why you would. But you can! People right there. Not very amused with my driving, uh, unfortunately. Like, those guys don't even want to look this way towards my car. Car's right there, they're like, oh, look at that guy's car. Alright, so. Yeah! Are there any, like, uh, infields I kind of could look, drive around in circles at, besides that one? Hey, look at that! That's like some other track that's like located. Huh. I wonder if there's any legitimate way to get to that. It seems like it's another little track that's off of this track. I don't know. Huh. There's a way you could legitimately get there without cheating your way there, so we could do that real quick. At least it looks like it. I'm gonna, you know, check it to make sure. But it looks like if you go through this hole right here, you can get to there. I'm not even churning. Oh, I should have churned. I was just being lazy because I was trying to scratch my head. Oopsie. I'm still itchy though, so I'm probably just gonna crash again. All right, you're not supposed to be here. That building's floating. Oh well. Woo! We're on the other track. We're broken, but we're on it. I wonder what this would be for. I mean, it doesn't seem like it would really connect to the... I, I don't know if this is like a... I'm assuming it's like a satellite image, you know? I would think there'd be like some way it could connect to the other track. To the main track, but it doesn't seem like it. So I wonder what it'd be used for. I should look this up. I probably will forget to, though. Oh, well. So, uh... Nice crash. A plus. I think that's, uh, that'll do it. That's, uh, most of what there is. I mean, it looks like a nice, it looks like a fine map. It's, just, it's, uh, it's good for, like, if you got a slower computer and you just want to race, works great. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's not the most detailed, but it's good enough, I would say. More than good enough if you want to race it. If you want to race at the track that is spelt as T S U. K-U-B-A, you'd be more than happy with this. If you want to have a picture-perfect map of it, well, you're on your own. So, yeah. Can you go in these hangars? Or whatever? No, not really. They're just there for details. Alright. Uh, let's go ahead and end this video and try to lend on a light pole. So, until next time, it's YBR. I'll see ya. Ho! Oh! How did that stay? Oh, that's perfect. They should have that in real life. Just have a car sitting on top of each and every light pole. That would look great. Have them pointed downwards so you don't even need lights. You just use the headlights from the cars. See here, like this. Who needs lights? Alright, I'll see it.